I'm Ethan Stein in Port St. Lucie, where the city council voted to cut the tax rate here, also called the millage. But property owners say their tax bill is still increasing dramatically for their property, making it almost unaffordable. It just goes up every year. Kathy Habermel's home in Port St. Lucie is not getting any bigger, but her property tax bill has almost doubled. It's just frustrating. It's just very, very frustrating. Every year, everything goes up. Habermel says she's struggling to avoid the higher bill, especially while she's paying her husband's medical expenses. She is not the only one frustrated. You know, you're on a fixed income. You know, I'm a, we're all retirees. I'm 76 years old. I'm like, hey, I'm not going back to work. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries unanimously. The Port St. Lucie City yeah. Council voted to lower the tax rate, also called a millage rate tonight. Some of those members say they understand issues related to the cost of living personally. My homeowner's insurance has gone up $800 in one year, and I was just canceled. But they say they can't further cut the rate because the city is growing. This budget adds around 82 full-time employees because staff says they are necessary to meet an increase in services due to continued growth. I can't afford a tent. I guess I could afford a tent, but who wants a tent? Habermel feels like the growth is pushing her out while the city continues to deal with more people coming to Florida. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the median price for a home in Port St. Lucie from about 2017 to 2021 was about $250,000. Today, real estate websites estimate that number is more like $330,000. In Port St. Lucie, Ethan Stein, WPTV News Channel 5.